Welcome to Photoshop. And today we're going to look at how to open an Adobe Illustrator or an EPS file inside of Adobe Photoshop. The first thing that we need to understand is the difference between a vector file and a raster file. Inside of Photoshop, everything is usually made up of raster images. A raster image is completely different from a vector image. The reason somebody might create something inside of Adobe Illustrator versus Adobe Photoshop is because they want a vector. So what does a vector give us? So let's take a look at this Photoshop image as I draw this. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply zoom way in here. And as we get to the edge, we will notice that right here, everything is made up of little bitty pixels. And there's a slight little feather as it comes to the edge of the image. This is what you would see in a raster image. A vector image is going to be completely smooth. There's gonna be no pixels. And this is gonna be a really smooth, hard line. So what that lets you do is scale. You can take a one inch by one inch vector image and enlarge it up to a hundred inch image without any loss of detail. Now you couldn't do that with a raster image because it's made up of pixels. The vector image allows you to scale something exactly the size that you need it without changing the size. Vector image is gonna let you scale and size something exactly to where you need it. And the cool thing is you don't need a giant file to start out with, you just need a small vector because you can enlarge it and make it bigger or smaller. It doesn't really matter what your initial size is. Where if you were in Photoshop, and you had a really large file, you can always size that down without loss of image quality, but you can't really size something up from a really small image and make it much larger just because there's not enough image quality there in the beginning. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this. So I have this little vector over here that I created for my daughter, and we're gonna go ahead and double click that to open it. When you try to open an SVG, a AI, which is Adobe Illustrator, or even an EPS file, it's gonna come to this little import dialog box. And it's gonna allow you to tell it what size you want it to be, what bit depth, what resolution, what mode. So we could change this to CMYK, black and white. So in this case, this is just a black and white image. I can simply make this grayscale because there is no color. And then I can come in here and tell it what size I want it to be. So I can say, hey, I want the width to only be six inches. So whatever I wanna do. And then I can go ahead and hit open. And it's going to open that image. And we are going to zoom in here. And you'll see that now these smooth lines have been changed and this is now a raster image. Don't expect that your vector to stay a vector inside of Adobe Photoshop, it's going to be rasterized. So if you wanna keep items as a vector, you're gonna to have to design or do your layout inside of InDesign and not Adobe Photoshop. But this is gonna be perfectly fine because I basically would maybe wanna change this to some sort of a logo or something that I wanted to place on an image. And that is basically how you change an image from Adobe Illustrator and open it inside of Adobe Photoshop into a raster image. So hopefully that has been helpful. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.